Hi there. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can monitor and visualize metrics from an NVIDIA Dynamo deployment in real time. For this demonstration, we'll be assuming that you have already deployed Dynamo, for example, using the Dynamo Serve command line tool. This deployment has two VLLM workers, as well as a KV Cache Aware router in front of them. Additionally, this deployment has an OpenAI compatible API server in front of it, which if we query is currently serving a DeepSeq R1 distilled llama model by those VLLM workers. And we will start sending some requests here in the background just to generate some load. Now, to monitor metrics on the Dynamo deployment, Dynamo comes with a metrics application that can be flexibly configured to point at different Dynamo deployments, which it will then periodically scrape that deployment for any metrics or data it is exposing across all of its workers, then aggregate all of that information and publish it to a Prometheus-compatible metrics server. For visualization, we'll be using Grafana. Grafana looks at the Prometheus metric server we are hosting and uses it to populate a dashboard in the browser. Let's go ahead and look at that dashboard. In the browser here, we have a dashboard with lots of panels. Let's go over a few of the key metrics being shown. First, in the top left, we have a KV cache utilization by worker. This is in the context of LLM workers, where we had two VLM workers, a line for each, and a live visualization of the amount of KV cache memory currently in use. Each worker generally dedicates a certain percent of memory to store KV cache blocks during inference, and this is showing how much are being used on the fly. Similarly, Dynamo workers can be configured to have a max capacity of requests that they can handle. This panel is visualizing that given each worker, how many requests out of that total is it currently using for an overall utilization. Now, rather than per worker information, you can also get an aggregate average across all the workers through some of these gauges here. For example, the KV cache utilization gauge shows currently a 60% utilization across both workers, which matches up what we're seeing here if you average them together. And similarly, a re average request slot utilization across all the workers. Before we go any further, let's go ahead and make a slight tweak to the type of requests we're sending to the server. Rather than sending requests that have some overlap in their prompts and prefixes, we're going to update it to send requests with very frequent overlaps and prompts, such that the uh, possibility of a KV cache hit on the worker is higher. If we go back to our dashboard here, we can start looking at some of these panels that are focused on KV cache hit rate, for example, the per worker one. Here we have two lines, one for each worker, showing the percentage of tokens or blocks of tokens that are cache hits in the worker for its KV cache. So for example, for this green line here, we're seeing about a 15% cache hit rate on its KV cache of overlapping tokens in each request prompt. Similarly, instead of a per worker view, there is also an aggregate view across all the workers for an overall average. After we updated our load or traffic patterns to have highly overlapping prompts, we can see there is very quickly a spike in the amount of KV cache hits that were happening. Uh, having the information per worker here is actually interesting because we also have a KV cache aware router in our deployments. With that in the loop, you can see that the yellow and green lines, one for each worker, is actually scaling a little bit differently. If there was a random or round robin type of scheduling happening between workers, we may see a generally similar load on each worker. But with the KV cache aware router, there's actually a clear difference that the green worker here is getting more KV cache hits and similarly lower KV cache utilization up top here and higher request slot utilization here, meaning the KV cache aware router is trying to schedule more overlapping requests with a chance of a KV cache hit to this green worker here when it can. If we were to update our traffic pattern further to send requests with more unique prompts, then we would see the KV cache hit rate drop in these panels. That's just a glimpse into some of the information you can get out of a Dynamo deployment. Thanks for watching.